Hey guys, Justin Dunn here at American Mustang School. I'm with one of my Mustang Cinnamon. I got whiskey back there. I'm gonna give you a demonstration, and this is probably gonna be the most important video you will ever watch in your horsemanship. Horsemanship, the relationship between horse and human. I got that backwards, horse and human. That's okay, we, we understand each other. So what is a bitless bridle, you might ask? A bitless bridle is a bridle that I'll use on my horse to ask questions, communicate. I designed this bridle. It's actually called a Justin Dunn bitless bridle. Weaver Leather manufactures it. Big D's distributes it. If you need any of that information, let me know. It'll be posted. The bridle is for the horse, but it's also for us. And I'll explain. This is made out of leather. It form fits to her face, so it's very comfortable. It frees up restriction in her mind, it frees up restriction in my mind, and I'll explain. Whenever we don't have metal in their mouth forcing to submit with pain, even if you're the best hands in the world, that metal still in the mouth causing tension, restricting thought. And as, we, as I designed this bridle and started playing with it on horses, all of my horses, hundreds and hundreds of other horses, thousands of different people, some things started to get revealed to me. And what was getting revealed is that this horse is going into a much more learning mindset. They want to learn and grow and develop in the relationship. So they'll start being willing. And why I used it was no pain. I don't want to force my horses to submit with any pain. See, horses live in laws of nature. Cause and effect, you can understand that. If I cause pain to my horse, the effect is going to be rebellion. And when the horse starts to rebel from what I'm asking them, they're not wanting to learn. So this, de this device, this asking device, will line up with that law of nature, cause and effect. And then we pay attention to time. That's another law of nature, time has to have it. In time, if you're causing pain to your horse, they're gonna develop some resentment. And when a horse goes into that resentment, they're not interested in doing whatever it is you want to do. So this device is an option. It's a bitless bridle. Form fits to their face. And it's one of those things that will create willingness in the horse in the relationship. It will enhance communication. It will allow your horse to concentrate on the questions you're asking, not on the equipment you're using to ask it. We create an open mindset for learning, not a restricted mindset due to the pain or fear of pain. Horses will go into a fear mindset of pain. What if they're gonna cause me more pain? They'll go guarded and they'll shelter. This bridle will eliminate tension in their mouth, tension in their body. Whenever they start to see that, they start to see that they can sustain life a long time doing what it is you wanna do. So I wanna show you how to use it, how to fit it. What we're gonna do is lower it down on this left side we're going to take this bridle off and it's going to be one of those things where or we take this halter off and we'll put this bridle on. It's going to be one of those things that's not much different from a halter to a bitless bridle. It doesn't go in their mouth. It goes on their face. Put their ears in. If you've got a mule, it comes apart. and Slip it over their ears without, without putting that in or putting it over their ears. So what I want to show you is this soft tissue starts here and then it turns into bone and you've got cartilage and then bone. I like my nose bands on the bone, about an inch, inch and a half above soft tissue. I'm going to take this throat latch here and it's not super duper tight, but you won't see daylight underneath it. And what this is going to do is hold that bridle on if she were to shake her head in the flies or rub against a tree or whatever. You just don't want it flipping off. So this bridle is something we can use to create willingness with the softness. So I like my horses nice and soft. You know, I'll ask them questions with pressure. Release of that pressure is a thank you. So we start our conversation as soft as we want to finish it. So I can pick up a lead rope or a rein and I can apply soft pressure and increase the intensity of the pressure and get that desired response. To go to the other side and work the same way. So fingertips remind you to stay soft, pick up on a rein. The rein should really never get tight, but if it does, she'll understand. Oh, that pressure means to go that way. We can ride this way all day long. She can stay comfortable. 
We feel refreshed after we ride, not fatigued. We can do ground communication with this. So just like if I wanted to ask her to back up, I'll ask her with a little pressure and release as a thank you. I could do left and right. I could come forward. We can ground tie. She can step on that and not hurt her mouth. People like this bridle. Horses love it. The, the, there's just too many pros. I could make a long video of all the pros, but ground communication with the bridle, ground tie with the bridle, tie to your trailer, tie to a tree, travel all over the country I have with this one bridle in my suitcase and played on every horse that I ever went to. It's just not going to damage this horse in any way in mind or body. I highly recommend it. If you're interested, check my uh, website out and order you one.